<sighs> okay, so this video is going to be a little different. I know, I know, it's YouTube, that's a total cliche, but hear me out. Before we jump into it, my name is Billy, this is my workshop, and you're watching KHA Entertainment. So, what started as a simple one-day project to upgrade the Chitty X Smart 3 turned into a week-long ordeal of troubleshooting, failed prints, firmware glitches, and me slowly losing my enthusiasm for the project. <laughs> We're going to pause right here for a moment and take a look at the original intro for this video to give you guys an idea of what this project was. I want to tackle an upgrade I've been meaning to do for a while. Getting my Chidi Smart X3 properly ventilated so I can safely print with materials like ABS and ASA without turning my workshop into a chemistry experiment. Uh, the goal would be a direct ventilation system that keeps those harmful fumes out of my room and it sends them outside where my neighbors can appreciate them. So instead of forcing you all to sit through like three hours of me fighting with this machine, we're going to do more of a highlighted reel of sorts as I go about my day. I'll walk you through what happened, the big takeaways, and what's next. Okay, well, first off, the good news. The ventilation system worked great. No toxic fumes lingering in the air, no viewed ABS fragrancing my workspace. And actually, I have a pretty nice montage of the whole installation process. So let's uh, take a look at that. Plug in the printer, watch it go. Layers build as ideas grow. Tech and dreams in every line, making magic every time. With just a click, we can't escape. Print, play, film, the scene unfolds. Every object a story told. Tech and wonder we create. In this space, let's innovate. This all screen in a plastic light. Crafting world from day to night. Film the magic every day. Join our journey. Jack kicks it up. Print, play, film, the scene unfolds. Every object a story told. Tech and wonder we create. In this space, let's innovate. I know I shouldn't do what I'm about to do, but I just want to make sure the exhaust is actually working. And, uh, yep, I can feel, I can feel the exhaust and I can smell the exhaust. So, uh, it's doing its job and, uh, yeah, sorry neighbors. The bad news. The Chitty X Smart 3, well, let's just say it wasn't as cooperative as the ventilation system. Thank you. The print head started crashing into the sidewalls and then dramatically dying mid print. At Chitty's recommendation, I replaced the EMMC, which I will say they got to me in like two days after ordering it. Uh, I updated the firmware, I releveled the bed, I ran input shaping. I did calibration numerous times, everything I could think of. It finally started printing again, but it's still having issues. It still sometimes dies midway through the print for no valid reason, or it'll have layer shifts so severe they're in different zip codes. So I had to take a step back and focus on other projects. But as luck would have it, in the middle of my frustrations, a Flash Forge Adventurer 5 Act Pro arrived. Perfectly timed, like a hero stepping into the final act of a movie. So, I shifted my focus to getting the Flash Forge up and running instead. 
Starting up with the spark in us spinning Motor swimming up the resin printing Change the plastic, taking shape And now pieces build up, gonna show you how Gears are grinding, making something new Filament flowing, sticking like glue Watching progress, swimming through the night Colors changing, feeling it's just right Layer by layer, dreams come true Donuts, magic fills the view Brush strokes in a digital hue the next morning because I wasn't waiting until 3 a.m. for the torture toaster to finish. So point one and point two tolerance are in there good. Like those aren't coming. But three, four, and five all separated pretty easy. All right, this is an impressive, impressive little PLA build for this machine. The detail is really nice too. The original intent of this video was to print ABS and ASA and uh, not worry about ventilation issues. This guy has built-in carbon HEPA filters. Now Flashforge did send me the 85M Pro for free to feature in some upcoming videos and use it in some projects, so I'm not going to go too in depth into reviewing it just yet as we're going to showcase it much more on the channel in the next few weeks. I will say that I've been extremely impressed with the reliability and quality of the Flashforge machine thus far. Uh, it just works. Uh, I've been keeping it loaded with ABS or PETGCF and I've been printing with it nearly non-stop since I got it and I'm really enjoying it so far. These are the materials I've printed on the FlashForge Adventurer 5M Pro. And again, you just load the machine with the material you want, choose a default profile, and click go. Some of these materials are notoriously difficult to work with, too, and I just find myself making print and walking away. Ooh, that's still hot in there. I'm going to let that cool before I take it out, but uh, this was just stock printer settings, stock manufacturer settings for ASA. That printed so nice, and it was very, very nice to not have to fight with the printer for two and a half days to get it to work. You want to check it out? Link in the description down below. And just for fun, I put my Chibi affiliate link down there as well. Don't worry, they don't even sell the Smart X3 anymore. But I do hear good things about the Plus 4, so do with that information as you will. Striking! Before I wrap up this video, I want to say this about the XMR3. Despite the recent frustrations, the XMR3 has been one of my favorite printers to work with when it works. It's fast, it's precise, it's versatile, but it's very much a tinkerer's printer. And while I like to tinker, I've spent just as much, if not more time, repairing that printer than I have printing on it. And there just comes a time where I need things to work. I did think about it. I came close. But I barely drink these days. Unless it's coffee. Too bad that you can't keep it away from. So, what do you think went wrong? Is it worth me continuing to attempt to fix the chitty? If so, what should I try next? 
And do you actually want to see that process documented if I continue working on it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to get your input on this. Also, if you like this video, or at least just enjoyed watching my suffering, be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out my other videos. There's plenty more 3D printing content coming soon, including a more in-depth look at the adventure of 5M Pro. And before you go, let's start a conversation down below. What's the worst troubleshooting storm you've ever had with a 3D printer? Let's hear those horror stories. Thanks for watching. Until next time. All right, well, first off, that was the microphone. Flashforge did send me this printer to test out and feature in some upcoming videos. So, why not go too deep into testing things? Let's start a conversation down the